Hello, Romies. This is Stacy. I grew up in Northeast Ohio, where I had access to the amazing local Metro Park system, including the North Chagrin Reservation, which is home to Squires Castle and our adventure today. The North Chagrin Reservation is in Willoughby Hills, about a 25 minute drive east from downtown Cleveland. The drive along I-90 from downtown hugs Lake Erie, and you'll have some great views of the water. Also keep an eye out for the giant Song of the Waves mural created by the artist Wyland as part of his worldwide efforts to increase awareness and funding for marine mammals and clean water initiatives. Upon arriving at Squires Castle, you'll be greeted by ample parking, accessible walking paths, and a variety of picnicking areas. There are also restrooms available. The structure you see standing was built in the 1890s by Fergus B. Squire, who was vice president and general manager of the Standard Oil Company. It was the first structure of a planned 525 acre residential compound to be occupied by Squire and his wife. The building was intended to be a gatekeeper or caretaker residence rather than the main home. According to the Cleveland Historical Society, the build was abandoned because Squire's wife hated the idea of country living, which seems like maybe they should have discussed prior to starting. <laughs> um, at one time, the building you're looking at was three stories tall, had a basement, and was furnished with beautiful leaded windows and elegant woodworking. But the structure you see now is really just a siltstone shell. For safety and due to historical vandalism, there are no furnishings or windows left, and the interior is exposed to the elements. You're welcome to walk inside, but watch your footing on the uneven, weather-exposed floors. Squire's Castle is accessible year-round and beautiful in every season. In addition to visiting the castle itself, there are opportunities for bird watching, fishing, hiking, and sledding accessible all from the same parking lot. There's even a free concert at the park this month. A local 80s cover band called Breakfast Club will be performing on September 30th from four to seven at the park. It's part of a larger summer concert series that the Cleveland Metro Parks had hosted. After your day in the park, if you feel like staying in the area, check out nearby downtown Willoughby. There's a fun array of restaurants and shops to wander through. Dave's Cosmic Subs is my absolute favorite sandwich shop ever, and they have a location just off of Euclid Avenue on Glen. Thanks everyone for coming along on this visit to a true gem in Northeastern Ohio. Looking forward to more adventures with you soon.